going on, folks? How y'all doing, man? This is your boy, Big Rich, d Dots Producer's Corner Video Tutorial, episode number eight, you know what I'm saying? Today, we're pretty much going to talk about the Master Bus Compressor. Uh, inside Reason 6, uh, the reason why I want to talk about this is because um, Reason 6 has a lot of hip-hop production uh, that it boasts out there, you know what I'm saying, that it contributes to the hip-hop community. Uh, a lot of people use Reason 6 uh, for hip-hop production. Uh, a lot of people that I know use Reason for hip-hop production. And, you know, saying if you about to pick up Reason 6 and you want to know what goes on and what's the tools that you want to use it for hip-hop production, that's what we're going to talk about, you know what I'm saying, with DDoS producers going to video tutorials, you know what I'm saying. Um, you know, so um, let's further ado, you know, let's get into the Master Bus Compressor. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, mean, I don't want to have no 20 minute video, but I think it's going to go that way because I want you to understand, I want you to know and use this thing because I'm going to tell you folks, one second, this shit right here is the motherfucking shit, it's the beast, it makes your mixes sound a little bit better as far as gluing everything together and that's what the Master Bus Compressor does, it glues your mixes together in order for it to sound well put together and that makes any sense to you you know what i'm saying um it just kind of like takes certain instruments that's barely sticking out it puts it back into the mix it takes that kick drum that you having trouble adjusting the levels but you don't want to mess it up in the mix where it glues it back you know what i'm saying in the mix together you know what i'm saying, what I'm saying? so i'm just going to show you the basic function of this thing and how you work it and stuff like that now <clears throat> Before I get into this, all these checks that I have, all these pretty colors that I got on the on the mixer layout, you know what I'm saying? All of these have shit on it, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go to the sequencer window and I'm going to zoom out and y'all going to see. I actually have a full full session in here, you know what I'm saying? Um I got a uh, some vocals with an instrumental you know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to uh, Full Grown, you know what I'm saying, with Off the Porch, you know what I'm saying? Uh, producer for Jordan Chief of Staff Production, you know what I'm saying? Salutes to you, big dog, you know what I'm saying? This is your session right here on the video tutorial, you understand what I'm saying? But pretty much what we're doing, and the reason why I got vocals in here is because I wanted to run it through an actual song mix within a session itself to see how good this master bus compressor is so always when i'm doing master bus compression on a two track mix or a mix itself um i always go to the loudest part of the song now as you see the song layout and let me just reduce everything so you can get it all right now as you see the song layout right here ain't much going on just one verse two hooks and stuff like that i always put it on the loudest part in the song so if i got a a hook or if you got like an intro uh building into the hook you know what i'm saying and it's the loudest part of the song you know what i'm saying kind of like loop it you know what i'm saying get your loop points you know what i'm saying and loop it you know what i'm saying the loudest part of the song and just have it loop it could be two bars four bars eight bars however long just have it in the loop and adjust your uh, master bus compression, or should I say, adjust your compression from there. Because you want to have the loudest signal going through the compressor. That way, when you set it, you know what I'm saying, it will react to the loudest parts of the song. And when the quietest parts of the song comes into the effect or comes into play, you know what I'm saying, it will react um, like it should which probably is going to be nothing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, because if you, you know what I'm saying, if you put it on the quiet section, you're going to apply compression, and you're going to have, like, you know what I'm saying, let's just say negative three or compression, and then when it gets to the loudest part of the song, then it's compressing, like, negative six. Then your mix is totally fucked up, you know what I'm saying? So that's why you always want to put it on the loudest part of your song loop the loudest part of your song <laughs> you know what i'm saying before you start the compression that's rule number one of this tutorial 
excuse me, I, I have sinuses going on. The weather out here in Houston is kind of changing like crazy. So I apologize if I sound a little stuffy and stuff like that. It's all good. I'm sounding a little sexy on the mic too. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling myself, feeling myself. <laughs> But anyway, man, uh, so once you got your song looped on the loudest part of the song, the next thing you want to do is put all your functions of the compressor to zero, or should I say default level. Now, um, default level for this particular device is going to be threshold at zero, uh, ratio at two to one. Attack and release times, you can leave them where they are, but they're going to be adjustable as you apply compression okay keep that in mind and then put your makeup gain to zero now for some fucking odd reason and i'm a curse on this one some fucking odd reason reason six didn't set this makeup gain to be calibrated directly on 0, 0.00 i don't know why the fuck they did that but you know what I'm saying? Try to get it as close as possible to 0, 0.00. So in this case, we're going to, uh, and I have a, a marble mouse, so we got it right at negative 0.12. It's better to, to be in the negative than be a little bit positive, you know what I'm saying? All right. So now that we have our threshold set at 0, our ratio at 2 to 1, um, and our makeup gain at 0, uh, we can start applying pr uh compression okay now before i do this though i want to explain something about the attack and release times okay the attack time is pretty much when it comes to any type of compression the attack time plays a vital part of compression because the faster the attack time the faster the compressor is going to react to the signal the slower the attack time, you know what I'm saying, the, the slower the compressor is going to react to the signal. So what that means is when you have a fast attack time, the compressor kicks in and starts compression ASAP. And vice versa, you know what I'm saying, the slower the, the attack time, the, the compressor, you know what I'm saying, it's going gonna, it's gonna to creep up and start doing compression. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> same thing, excuse me, same thing applies with release the faster the release is on a compressor, or should I say the faster the release is on a compressor, the faster the compressor will let the signal go and go about its business, if that makes any sense to you. Which means if you have a slow release, the more compression you're going to get on the signal. Does that make sense to y'all? Okay, does it make sense to y'all? Okay, let's go again with the release time. The slower the release, the more compression you're going to get. The faster the release, the less compression you're going to get. So when you put the attack and the release times together, you know what I'm saying, the, if you have a slow attack time and a fast release time, you know what I'm saying, the signal is going to come in, get compressed, and get out of there. The faster attack and the slower the release, the more the signal is going to sit in the compressor, be compressed, and then get the hell out of there. So it's kind of like you're going into a, short, uh, a store and you're going to shopping. Okay, you go on to buy them Jordans, right? You go into Foot Locker. You go into the mall, should I say. Okay, person A going to the mall. He going to Foot Locker, Champ Sports, Finish Line, and any other boutique store in there. He just going to look for that, you know what I'm saying, the, the right pair of Jordans, the right fit, the right size you know what i'm saying what person b goes into the mall he know where he going he going to finish line probably gonna holla at uh, uh donovan that work behind the counter that's gonna hook him up you know what i'm saying with 75 dollars off he go in the mall get them damn jordans and get the fuck out of there that's pretty much what compression kind of like think of it like that is you know what i'm saying it's like a, a woman going into the mall she going in there and want to do all that bullshit window shopping and she want to stay in the mall for a long time. Well, that's what a setting is with um, a fast attack and slow release. But a dude that go into the mall, he already know what the hell he going to get. He in and he out that motherfucker. That's what a slow attack time is and a, a, a fast release time is. If that makes any sense to y'all. Okay, so enough talking about fat attack and release signs. I just wanted to give you a, a kind of like a representation of what that actually does and how it ties in with compression. You understand what I'm saying? Now, the key function of bus compression is going to be the threshold. 
votes is going to be the threshold. I'm again, I'm going to tell you it's going to be the threshold. And the ratio has another key part into compression. You know what I'm saying? As far as two track or mixed bus compression. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the lower the compression, the, the, excuse me, the lower the ratio is, the lower the ratio the less compression you're going to get. And I'm just going to keep it simple like that, folks. Because when you start explaining 2 to 1, 4 to 1, uh, 8 to 1, 6 to 1 ratios, uh, I'm going to lose you. With most hip-hop production, um, you know, use 2 to 1 compression and you'll be all right. You know what I'm saying? Now, the key thing, lastly but not least, and let's get into this, baby, is the threshold. Now, I have it, again, looped around the hook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the compressor off. All right, folks. And then we're going to listen to the hook throughout the eight bars. So let's listen to the hook. You know I'm gunning on them. You know, you know I'm gunning on them. 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 You know I'm gunning, gunning. You know I'm gunning on them. All right, you heard you heard the mix. You know what I'm saying? That's without master bus compression. That's all the channels being mixed. You know what I'm saying? And it's going directly to your speakers. You feel me? <clears throat> now we're going to enable <clears throat> the, the master bus compressor. And what we're going to do, and I want y'all to watch this video. Two things I want you to watch. The threshold knob when I'm adjusting and that damn gain reduction meter. I'm going to tell y'all folks about uh, compression, period. I don't give a fuck what kind of compressor you use. The gain reduction meter is your friend. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. They can argue with me. We can have a long ass debate. We can fight over it for all I care. I don't give a damn. The game reduction meter is a key part. Oh, excuse me. It's a key part of compression. <laughs> I, I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? A teacher got on me because I used to, you know what I'm saying? I used to watch the threshold, my threshold knob, then look at the gain reduction meter. I make my adjustments on the threshold knob, then I look at the meter. He was like, Richard, dude, you got to watch the gain reduction meter. You know what I'm saying? You have to watch it because it reacts to the mix. So what I'm trying to tell y'all is imagine the gain reduction meter kind of like flinching to the music. So if you got a mix that's going boom, 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 boom. Now watch my hand. Watch my fist. Boom, 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 That's kind of like how you want your game reduction meter to react to that particular beat I was playing with my mouth. Game reduction. Get game reduction. Game, game reduction. Get game reduction. You understand what I'm saying? So watch what I do when I start applying the threshold to the compressor and watch that BU meter or that gain reduction meter on the compressor. It's going to dance with the beat. It's going to flinch with the music. You know what I'm saying? It's going to react to the music about, I'm sure not, not about, but it's going to react to the music accordingly to how much threshold that I'm applying to the compressor. Let's go. You know, you know I'm gunning on them. 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 Now, I got some heavy-ass compression on there. Now, I told you about 2 to 1, 4 to 1, and 10 to 1 ratios, right? Uh, 2 to 1 is pretty much kind of like very minimal compression, but it's uh, the threshold is the main key of any type of compression, okay? And I got the threshold pretty much kind of like squeezing down on the signal at a negative 10. So it's pretty much telling the signal, if you go past negative 10.63 of signal, Coming into this compressor, we're going to squeeze you down. So that's why this compressor, you start seeing the volume of the mix start to reduce. Yeah, because we got a lot of compression going on. We're going past negative four in gain reduction, folks. You understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> so I wanted to see, I wanted to show y'all the reaction of the, me, the, the needle. You know what I'm saying? The more threshold I applied, you start seeing that needle dance more and more to the beat. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust backwards. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to get the needle to dance very lightly. Not, you know what I'm saying? Not flinching like that. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Motherfucking club. Dance, dance. Dance like like that, but you want uh 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 
uh-uh. You want to be smooth, you know what I'm saying? Be smooth, you know what I'm saying? Capital boy strut, you know what I'm saying? You want it to be smooth. Boom, boom, doom, 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 doom. Just like my hand. Mm, 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 Like that, you understand what I'm saying? So, let's do that again. I'm going to adjust backwards. Watch the VU meter. Watch the threshold controls. Let's go. You know I'm gunning on them. 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 You know I'm gunning, gunning. You know I'm gunning on them. You know, you know I'm gunning on them. 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 You know I'm gunning, gunning. You know I'm gunning. That's it, folks. That's it. That's. That's a good representation of master bus compression right there. You know what I'm saying? It's dancing, but it's not compressing. You know what I'm saying? You're not really hearing the effect of the compression. But yet and still, you're gluing the artifacts, the transients of the loudest peaks of that two-track or that mix together. You're gluing it together and keeping it kind of like in a medium or a median. That way, all the dynamics will have equal range, equal dynamic range, and equal strength and equal in signal. You understand what I'm saying? That's pretty much what it is. But yet and still, the needle is dancing to the track. You know what I'm saying? And always with hip-hop production, when it comes to master bus compression, you never want to go past negative negative four db in gain reduction on your master bus compressor period <sighs> I, I, I mean anyone out there want to argue with me hey you know i got a comments page let's go you know what i'm saying but anyway you know what i'm saying I always try to keep a root thumb to me is to keep it in between zero and four kind of like around a negative two for as gain reduction on your ma uh, master bus compression and you know what i'm saying you have some good effects now the last thing you want to do is make up the gain now we do have some gain lost in this reduction in in the master bus compression so we're gonna enable disable enable disable you know what i'm saying and we're gonna see the here we're gonna hear the difference okay so let's hit play. you know i'm gunning on them you know i'm gunning on them you know i'm gunning on them Now, y'all heard that little difference? You heard when it was disabled, the compressor wasn't working. You seen how the track was like, you know, it was out there. It's real wide. But then when we enabled it, you know what I'm saying, the track kind of squeezed up. It kind of like got puny. You know what I'm saying? Kind of like, you know, got a little tight like that. But when it was, un, um, un, you know, when the compressor was disabled, it was kind of like this. You know what I'm saying? It had no life. But when you, when you enable the compressor... It bulked up like that, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like a visual representation I'm trying to do for y'all. So what you're going to do is, all you're going to do is make up the game. So what we're going to do is, we're going to pretty much disable it, get a good ear representation of what's, okay, you're going to try to get your ears used to hearing the signal, the original signal, and then you're going to adjust it to the original with the compression. You understand what I'm saying? Make up game, get it, folks. Get it? Come on, let's go. You know I'm gunning on them. You know I'm gunning on them. You know I'm gunning, gunning. You know I'm gunning on them. You know, you know I'm gunning on them. 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 You know I'm gunning, gunning. You know I'm gunning on them. You know, you know I'm gunning on them. 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 So, as I was adjusting, you know what I'm saying, I got a little bit louder than the original, um, you know what I'm saying, the original volume on the original track, you know what I'm saying, or should I say the original, um, the original uh, mix. And then when I enabled the compressor, you know what I'm saying, it got kind of quiet. So I had to adjust down on the makeup gain until I got an equal volume in between the compressor being on and the compressor being off. And we kind of like, we only had like a loss of 1.6 uh, of a dB, you know what I'm saying? Which pretty much, that's how much gain you made up from the original signal. So in actuality... 
our VU meter, it doesn't say 1.6 of cane reduction being reduced, but using your ears in the makeup game, the makeup game actually tell you you are actually uh, you you actually compress 1.6 of decibels out of the original mix and you use the makeup gain to make up that volume therefore you get a good representation of the mix being compressed with bus compression hit play you know I'm gunning on them. 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 you know I'm gunning on you know I'm gunning on you know, you know, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? So y'all hear it, you know, it sounds a little bit more out there, a little bit in the face, a lot of prominence, a lot of presence, a lot of punch in the mix, you know what I'm saying? So uh, let me check and see what time we got on this video. Okay, so we had 21 minutes, man, you know what I'm saying? I done talked enough, but I'm going to play this beat from the beginning uh, with the compression and, you know, just to, to show you, you know, the effects of Master Bus compression and then I'm going to bypass it in the middle. So just pay attention and listen. And like I said, I'm going to sign off with this video saying thank you all for tuning in to D-Dot's Producers Corner's video tutorial. Shout out to the host, D-Dot. Shout out to the co-host, Trey. Shout out to the, the director of Icebreaker Radio, Chosen. Joint Chief of Styles Productions and the subscribe subscribers to the Cox Beats YouTube channels for these video tutorials. Salute all of y'all and y'all have a wonderful day. Holla at your boy. Yeah. This is the grown day. You know I'm gunning on them. You know I'm gunning on them. You know I'm gunning, gunning. You know I'm gunning on them. 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 You know I'm gunning, gunning. You know I'm gunning on them. You know I'm gunning on them. You know I'm running on it. I'm on the scene, homeboy. Let's pump something. Ain't no hoe here. Ain't no bitch here. Beat town, my home, nigga. We everywhere. Better grab that chrome. Better grab that eye. All set goes up, ain't nothing to hide. Man, I'm mountain high. West Cape Tiger high. Man, you see me in the morning, I be close eyed. Yeah, I'm the one you catch the one by far. Just look at that boy, he's something like a star. He like a superstar. He like I put your girl. Play a role in her life, she's in a grown world. I'm the Wayne Wayne, she more like Whitney. Is her eyes wide shut? Nicole Kidman. Man, this total campus. Man, this dude is splendid. Speak on it, homeboy. Grown off the hinges. You know I'm gunning on him. 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 This is the play time. 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 This is the